guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are doing um gold. I want us to do gold analysis because many people have really requested for me to do gold. And we just want to take a look on what are the major things that we need to uh, point out. This is episode 13. I told you guys this month of May is a month of revelation and I'm here to give 60 videos. I've already done 12 videos. So if you have not been up to date, kindly go and check those video out. And then you can come back and let's learn on this video, which is episode 13. So for me, gold, how I love trading gold, I like trading it on a long-term uh, long term direction because if I stay on four hour, I really don't understand what is gold doing. So this is what you do. If the market is on four hour and you can't tell exactly what the market is doing, you start with monthly. So I will do top-down analysis because when it comes to gold, it's very volatile. People, you know that gold moves quickly so you don't want to get in a sell and the market buys so quickly. You don't want to be in a buy and the market sells so quickly. So you need to be attentive on what is happening. So for me, what I believe is that gold is very, very tricky to trade it. Why? Because it's a, at a very strong resistance zone. So you can see that this market is at a very, very strong resistance zone. And the minute that the market is like this, you cannot able to tell if it will buy or it will get rejected. But from my point of, uh, the way I'm seeing it is that this market already has proved that sellers are no longer powerful. And we have come to the, to the place where we still have um, very strong uh, resistance that has been tested, attempted one, two, and now this is the third time. So many times is that I've come to realize when it comes to Forex, when the market attempts the third time, this market breaks. So for me, for me, even when I'm looking at monthly time frame, for me, I'm supporting a buy. But there is no like a because even if we took uh we check on the price action of the April candle, it was a spinning top, and spinning top is just a rejection candle. So price action. On the monthly, it's not telling me exactly what the market wants to do. But according to previous months, you can see that it is on the very strong key zone. Let's go down to weekly time frame. When you come to weekly time frame, you'll, you'll understand that this market has been ranging. So we are not trying to, you see, there are people who have already put their mind that this is a sell because they're thinking, oh, this is a double top. So these people, they'll come and draw a double top there. But let me tell you, when a zone is tested more than three times, it can't be a double top. I'll give you an illustration with a door. A door, you kick it once or you knock it once, it won't do anything. But trust me, if you keep knocking that door several times, it will break down. The same with resistance. The first time, it will go down. Second time, it will go down. But this time, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, like I'm not 100% that the market wants to reject. This area seems like it is done getting rejected. And that's why you can see so many spinning tops and the spinning tops are the red ones. Like sellers are not, they have no power to push this market down. If you pay attention on what happened here, there were no spinning top, it's a bearish engulf candle and then another bearish, meaning the sellers were stronger. When you come here, a very bearish candle. But why is this? Is it that this market here, we have so much rejection? There are so many weeks on the top side, meaning that uh, sellers are coming in. And again, we have weeks on the downside, meaning sellers, buyers are coming in. So at the end of the day, we can't really say it's a double top. It is not a double top. So what are we seeing from the weekly time frame? So let me remove the box so that we can see it clearly. So from the monthly, uh, from the weekly perspective, I can take this as a range. Can you see? For me, I can take that as a range. Unless from weekly time frame they break that range, we don't have a surety. You see the way you can be so sure that, oh, gold is a sell, oh, gold is a buy. Mm -mm. Even if you hear someone saying, oh, gold is a sell or a buy, they're just doing guesswork. So as long as 
that market has not broken through, we are not confident enough to say, oh, this is the direction the market will take. So I want you to go and draw this, this channel. You can draw this channel, why? Because now you're trying to bring everything together and you're trying to make sense of the thing here. So you can do like that. So bring it down like that. And then you can see the end of that box is a very strong zone. And let us see the end of the upper side. Is it, do we have a market that some time back went around there? I don't think so. So that's, that's how the weekly analysis. And you see, on Monday, that's when you do such analysis because on Tuesday, it will be too late because maybe you'll have entered a sale or a buy with, without even having much evidence on what the market might do. So that's what we have, both sides. So we'll have take profit one and take profit two, you see? So you'll have take profit one and take profit two. So this is actually, when I'm analyzing, I'm analyzing like this. Now I have confidence of checking every time, every week, a uh, gold. Why? Because now I understand unless this channel is broken, there's nothing, there's nothing um, we are doing. Like there's nothing uh, we are trying to say unless this zone is broken, you see? So unless they break that zone. So basically we have TP1 and TP2. Now you cannot remain on weekly if you are a day trader or a scalper. If you are a swing trader, maybe you can allow yourself to come check every week to find such a candle, like that should be your goal if you're a swing trader and you want confirmation from weekly and then now you can buy all the week. But because that's now we are day trader stroke, I know there are people who, who watch me and they are scalpers. Let me just show you how now to continue. You won't stop at weekly, we'll go at daily time frame. So when you go to daily time frame, when you go to daily time frame, this is what we see. We see a market that um, let me hide this on daily. Let me hide this. So you can see that, yes, I don't have any analysis on daily, but if I click weekly, my analysis are there. So this is the way you can hide your analysis to only appear in one time frame. So when I go to daily, I start again and I want to understand what is really happening. Something that, that I understood with gold is that we have a break of structure. And you see that? So daily already, it is telling us buyers are stronger. So we have BOS, BOS. BOS means break of structure. We have BOS. BOS means break of structure. So we have BOS and um, meaning buyers are stronger, meaning buyers are stronger and these buyers will come here and maybe eventually they'll continue. So now because we know buyers, we have BOS and the market is buying, all this is considered as a retracement. So the only way we can now do, uh, we can buy up to here, the guarantee take profit is here. because so that's where the market reached last. So if, if at all we are buying, that should be our first take profit or the limit of our take profit. So what we do next is that we need to understand that this market here yes, is a buy, but we don't have an entry. And that's why I'm telling you gold, you only go to forward now to look for a buy entry. You go to forward to look for a buy entry. So when you're like that, remember, all these are analysis from weekly. Can you see, can you remember the weekly analysis? Those are the weekly analysis. So our take profit, we want it to, to be up to here. That's where we, that's our goal up to there. So what we do, you will find out what is causing you to buy. What is triggering a buy? We have so many things. 
first of all, we have a break of structure again on four hour. We have this BOS on four hour. And this BOS, this leg after it retraced, it has created a double bottom. Guys, can you see that double bottom? I'm giving you a signal, a free signal actually. I'm giving you a free signal. So we have that double bottom possible. So that's a possible double bottom. Possible double bottom. Like that. Now, remember I've told you our market is going back all that distance. Like it's going that distance. So we have our possible double bottom. What is making us not to enter buy? Yet on daily, we have a buy entry. Weekly, they are not out of this zone. So we can't have a long-term buy. We just have a short-term buy. The only thing that is making us to look for buy using for our, for our time frame is because on daily, can you see, we have this break of structure. That is the only thing that is making us to look for buy. How do you look for buy if it is uh, has CRB has taken place? I taught you on CRB. CRB is current resistance break and our current resistance break is there. And it is that simple, guys. If this buyer CRB, so you wait for current resistance break, wait for current resistance break. So if you wait for current resistance break and this candle that has started at eight, ending around, um, Eight, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this candle, I don't know if it will close at 12 or 1. If you find gold breaking that like that, we have a buy entry and it's a short term buy. Or back to, where did I tell you? It will go back to here. It will go back to here. So we have 229. 229 pips if the market breaks. So if we flip daily and we find that the market has broken that area, our take profit, 2048, it will go now back to 2067. So our first take profit is 2048. Let me show you. Is it 2048 or 2038? Our first, yes, 2048. So if the market breaks CRB, if CRB is broken, current resistance break, our market will go to 2050. That's our first take profit. And then now we check on daily. If daily they can break that zone, it will be 2068. Guys, what else? What else? Now, can you see how I have simplified gold? Sometimes many people think that gold is hard to trade, but it is not. It is not. I have simplified for you, and that's how you will trade gold. Gold is a free signal. Your part now is to analyze exactly and wait for CRB to happen. It's you now, it's upon you to wait. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you have subscribed to this channel, like this video and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think gold will buy or sell? What's your thoughts? Comment down below. Thank you, love you.